Hey guys, Kazan Freli here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can make any slide responsive within Slider Revolution plugin. So in the previous video, we have created the slide. If you haven't checked my previous video on how to create slides using Revolution Slider, please go to that video. I'll leave the link of that video in the description. Make sure you watch that video. So in this video, we're going to make this slide responsive. So if I choose any of these devices, responsive devices from here, for example, this laptop, you can see we have these arrows here, but this is quite fine that it is responsive. But for the mobile devices, this doesn't look good. So let's just look into how you can make these slides responsive. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to your slides that you want to make responsive. So here is the slide and from here I'll switch to the mobile version. Uh, here you can see this is the mobile version and this is not looking quite fine. So I want to drag this right here and I want to adjust these heights and I want to bring this in the center. All right, next thing, I'll choose all of these layers. Using the click on my keyboard and the mouse. And I'll drag them right here. And then I'll choose this shape and I'll paste this shape here. And now you can see this is there. Now what I want is to increase their sizes. First of all, I'll have to ensure that the alignments that I'm working on should be fine. All right, I want to increase the font size from 22 to 32. And then I want to add the line height. Then I also wanna make some spacing here. I want to make some spacing here as well. Then I want to increase the width and height of this. So for now this is 96. Let's make it 140. Oh, this is X position. Ninety-six. Width I want to change from twenty-eight to eighty. It is quite bigger for mobile. Sixty forty. Forty is fine. So I'll align this here and I want to change the width of this to 40 as well. Uh, after that, I'll change the text size as well. So from seven pixels to 16 pixels. And for this text, I'll change this as well. So from 16 or maybe 14 pixels and I want to add the line spacing of 20 pixels I might reduce the font size and then I want to increase the width obviously so this is 79 I'll make it 100 and then I'll go back to style instead of 20 pixels of line height I'll make it 15 all right so we have 15 pixels of line height here and then we have 13 pixels of font size so in this one I'll make it 13 pixels and 15 pixels so they should look similar and the width then here we have 100 pixels let's make it 120 pixels and I'll do the same thing I'll make it 120 pixels of width here so it should look like this Maybe I want to increase the width. So anyways, because in the text we have this spacing here. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, in this text, I'll get rid of that as well. All right. So next up is this text. For the text, I use 16 pixels. So I'll go to style tab and I'll make it 16 pixels here. 
I'll increase this thing and then I want to have same x and y values y I have 253 so I want to make it 253 here as well next up we have this button I'll align this button here and then I want to increase the size of this button I want to check the x position and y position for this icon as a main point so I'll go to size and for the x position we have 72 and 228 so I want this thing to be aligned at 72 and then what I want is to have some spacing between these elements because this was like an icon box and now it's not looking like an icon box so I want to have some clear spacing here just like this and then I want to exposition 65 and this exposition should be 65 as well and then we have this I want to have the exposition of 65 and then I can actually increase this increase the size of this now it's looking something like this and now if I hit tablet view and for the tablet you can see it is looking like this we'll have to adjust the tablet view as well so I'll increase the width increase the height and after that I'll choose all of these elements align these elements on this box that we have like right here and then I want to have some spacing between these uh, elements so that I can adjust their heights so for this image you can see the width is 46 let's make it 80 pixels or probably 65 pixels and I want to increase the width of this image to 65 pixels as well then what I want is to increase the font size so instead of 12 pixels I'll go 18 pixels and the same thing I want to do for this title I'll go 18 pixels and then we have this text instead of 6 pixels I'll choose 15 pixels with the line height of 15 so for this one 16 pixels with the line height of 15 but now you can see the font looks a bit bigger so I'll go 13 pixels and then the same 13 pixels here all right then what I want is to drag our text here and then we have this small button and then I want to drag it right here now I want to make sure the alignments are same so in the sizes and POS X value is 38 so for this one I want to have 38 as well and for this one basically for this one I want to have 38 as well so just changing the alignments in the responsive view is what you will have to do and then you will have to increase or decrease the font sizes depending upon what it's doing so in the x38 510 510 so this is going to be 510 and then for this title we have 108 514 so for the y this is going to be 514 and for this text 544 so I'll make it 544 and then I want to have some extra spacing there all right after that what I want to do is to increase this size to 42 pixels style 42 pixels and that is it next up we have this note notebook on the notebook this is looking fine just only I'll have to adjust some spacing for the button and some of these spacing options for these elements 
other than that this looks fine all right so now moving back to the desktop and on the desktop this is looking fine all right so here you can see this is a desktop version this is a notebook version this is a tablet version and this is a mobile version so in this way you can make your slides responsive across devices i hope you learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video consider subscribing to my youtube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will never miss an update whenever i upload a new video thank you very much i'll see you in the next video